also some exciting news Flowdesk have finally brought out their native double opt-in feature so I'm going to show you in this video how to set that up so the very first thing that you want to do is go to your account um, little profile photo up here hover over it and select brand preferences now I've just opened this up in another um, tab because at the very top of brand preferences is your address um, so I don't want you to see that so I've scrolled down past my address on the brand preferences area here and if you keep scrolling to the bottom, you should now see two new options. So first of all is your double opt-in email. And this is the email that gets sent out to people immediately after they've pressed that subscribe button on your sign up forms. And it's just adding another layer of permission for the person saying, yes, I am absolutely happy for you to use my email address in your marketing communications. They get sent this email with a button in it to double confirm that they are happy for this. Um, and that is what a double opt-in email is. So if we click this view uh, button here, you can see uh, a little preview of what this currently looks like. So obviously this isn't set up with my branding at the moment. Um, so we're just gonna need to go ahead and edit that. And to do that, we're just gonna click this customize button. Then in here, I can just click on any of the elements that I want to change. Obviously, I'm going to want to edit the fonts and things like that and the colors. Um, you can edit the text as well. But the aim here is to keep it as simple as possible, because remember that if you are setting up other workflows and automated emails in Flowdesk, those are probably also going to be sent out at the same time. You don't want to overwhelm your subscribers with loads and loads of different information and emails with loads of text in. This email is purely just to confirm their subscription. Please don't make it too complicated. I would literally suggest just keeping it very similar in length to this default text, but obviously changing it to fit your brand if you need to. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And again, all these design settings are exactly the same as when you're creating any form and any um, email campaign within Flowdesk as well. Okay, so I'm done customizing it now. Um, as I said, I've kept it really, really simple. You can view it on mobile preview here if you want to see how it would look. What I would also recommend doing is sending out a test email to yourself just to make sure that it's not going into spam or doing anything funky. And click send test now. So then you can check how it looks in your inbox, which I will just go and do now. So here it is, it's arrived. Bye Rosanna, confirm your subscription. And then when I open it, it looks like this. So that is perfect. Now, one thing to note as well with these opt-in emails is that you cannot change the um, title text on this, the headline, as you can see here, it's this is the subject line and you cannot change it. And that is so that you don't change it to anything that could affect it going into people's spam, which is obviously what you definitely want to avoid. Um, and it's set up that way just to be as simple as possible so that no one can edit it and make it so that it goes into people's spam. So I'm just gonna finish that now. And then it's taken me back here. So the other thing to note is that there is now this thank you page option as well. And if we click to view that, this is what it looks like. Um, basically, the thank you page is just basically a flow desk uh, web page just that people are sent to once they click that join the list button in their double opt in confirmation email. Um, they will get sent straight to this. It won't do it now because I am um, kind of in a preview area. But when people do land on this page, they will be able to click your logo up here and be able to go straight to your website as well. So um, again, this doesn't need to be anything fancy when you're editing it. It just needs to simply give people the message that they have actually double subscribed and they are now on your list. So again, you should have other workflows set up for freebies and other things like that in Flowdesk that are gonna be sent to people. So you don't want to overwhelm them with too much information. Just keep it simple. But again, you can customize it in here to fit your brand. So when you're editing this header as well, rather than just um, giving you just free reign with that, they have actually included some 
different options here for you or you can completely customize it. It's um, completely up to you. There we go, that's all I want to do to mine. Again, I'm keeping it really, really simple and clicking finish. Okay, so now that I have set both of those up, what I'm gonna do is go to my forms area. Uh, as you can see, I've got a long list of all my forms that I've got that are set up on my website. Um, most of these are actually attached to a workflow so that when people do click subscribe, they also get an automated email that's sent out in the workflow to receive some kind of freebie as well. But due to GDPR laws and regulations here in the UK and in the EU, it is still a good idea to make sure that all of your um, forms have got dub double opt-in enabled now that it is an easy option to do in Flowdesk. So all you have to do to do that is click on the three dots that appear when you hover over your form, go to customize. And then the very first question it's going to ask you now is should we enable double opt-in for this form? And then you want to just click yes. If you click this button, it will take you back to that um, editing screen to edit the double opt-in message, but then you just click continue and continue on with the rest of the options that you usually get asked when creating a form. Just carry on doing that. Um, and you don't actually need to update your forms. If you have already put them onto your website, they update automatically. So don't worry about copying and pasting the code back into every page where they are. Um, they update automatically, so you don't have to do this section. So let's go back and do that again on another form. Click customize. And yes, we want to give them a double opt-in confirmation and just go through this uh, process with each of your forms that you want to add this to. If you have previously set up a kind of uh, workaround a double opt-in in your workflows area, um, like I have done a video on previously when this wasn't a native option, you just need to remember to go and switch that off um, to make sure that people aren't receiving that. Or you could keep that and not set up double opt-in um, created with Flowdesk. It depends on how you want to use segments and things like that. But yeah, this is a great new feature and I'm glad that Flowdesk has listened to their UK EU customers um, to add this fairly quickly for everyone too.